Good morning, everyone, and we are back to a hat time. In the last part, uh, Mustache Girl betrayed us and stole half our money, but we, we found out pretty quickly that wasn't actually that much money uh, because most of the money that it was was gained from Mafia Town's boss. Power has been restored in the machine room. The chapter Battle of Birds is now available. So we've unlocked the next area. And let's take a quick look around. We've got a new chair. Nothing too interesting. Uh, it looks like, actually, uh, we needed the um, brewer's hat to get through this uh, section. Because, yeah. Another chest right there. So if you did sneak away over it, you would still get caught. And we actually have this hidden one. Let's go touch it. Time has been stopped and suddenly started. Uh, welcome to the gallery, Time Rift. Uh, this wasn't originally my plan for the next one, but I I think it's going to be pretty interesting. And it reminds me a lot of the Super Mario Sunshine levels, the floodless ones. So I, I hope we can do better in these uh, than I could do in those levels. Uh, and it's going to be just areas you can use your... A uh, hat. And if you require a hat to get there, uh, in this case we required the brewer's hat, it's going to be best for us to just keep the brewer's hat equipped because we'll probably be needing it in this area. More so than the sprint hat or anything like that. Looks like we got to go the long way around, which might be a little difficult. Oh. Yep, there we go again. Um, so most likely these are going to be um, failure episodes for the most part. Uh, just me attempting my way through it and uh, maybe, maybe completing them in a reasonable time. So to start things off, let's run to the end of this one. We'll make a jump and try to go around sticking just to these things. Um, admittedly having to go around this way does increase the amount of uh, use of it and a checkpoint. It looks like each of these light posts are going to be a checkpoint, and including a nice place to heal up. I'm not liking these balloons. And that would be why uh, I just jumped and completely missed them. But I'm more worried because, like, okay, I'll line up as straight as I can. And then I have to jump at the end. Oh! Not which way I expected you to go! Uh, so, I guess the lesson for these are go slow. Oh, it looks like there's another checkpoint. And we got a platform. Let's not mess it up the platform before the checkpoint. I'm glad it like homes in on these things. That does make it so you can focus on the platforming a bit more. Or in my case, focus on failing the platforming a bit more. <laughs> Alright, um, that one did make much sense to me. I hit the platform, the second floor one, and then it decided to leap over it in favor of uh, jumping to your death. But we've got another uh, checkpoint right up here. The only issue I can see with these rift ones are going to be they're much smaller. So um, even compared to some of the Mafia Town ones. And then there's the camera angles that I'm unfortunately stuck with. And it actually brings you, when you run out of health, not to the check. I honestly uh, expected them to bring me to the beginning of the level because it looked like it was loading, and I'm like, oh no. Hat kid, you're too floaty. Well, at least now I know 
there's very minimal worries, even if we do game over, like when we do die, because it just brings us back to the checkpoint. Um, so we will finish all of these um, in time, I guess, is the way to phrase it. Yeah, so as long as. Oh, come on! So as long as we're close enough to one of the edges, it looks like it's going to give us a decent view on these climb ones. And this is good experience, or at least getting me used to um, these sorts of areas. So I can't be too upset. But there we go, we get timepiece number five. That was a lot quicker than I was expecting. Yeah, like five minutes. And that is four and a half minutes of failing. We also get to roll these things. Interesting half layer. I'd like to re-roll though. Uh, one more roll. Fine, I will take... There. We now have a ribbon on our hat. Like a nice little bow sitting on the ribbon. That's it. So we've seen Mafia and we've seen Mustache Girl. We have yet to see the other three. Intruder alert. Alright, who is this intruder going to be? Oh, it's Cooking Cat. Alright, let's go say hi to Cooking Cat. What a lovely spaceship you have here. Thank Sorry you. for the break in entering. I just really wanted to see what an alien spaceship is like. Fair enough, fair enough. I expected aliens to be more green and probably with a thirst for flesh. Hey, but you don't I know I don't have a thirst for flesh. Hey, if you're looking to explore our planet, you'll need to understand it first. Don't know how to identify relics? Alright, relics. I'll let you Another have tutorial. Relic for free. So we get the top half of the burger. We already got the bottom half earlier. And it unlocked a relic location for us. Two of them, it looks like. We can repair it and put the bottom of a burger and the top of a burger and make a burger. It's a match. I identified a relic from the strange planet. Which you can see gives us a new. Uh, time rift in there. Um, I don't know that we actually have any others that can be built right now. This and that. Oh, it is enough for one. We've also finished the train relic. And where is this one going to cause? This one is going to give the area we've yet to be in now also has an extra relic. I mean, has an extra time piece available. Um,. However, I don't know that I want to, to lead off starting this new area thing. So we're actually going to go see hunt for some time relics here. The Golden Vault. Ooh. Uh, one that you can pay 100 for. And a time rift of all spawn. Oh. Two time rifts. Um, so... This one was made as a result of uh, completing the burger, whereas this one was just one that happens to exist already. So we are going to go to Welcome to Mafia Town. Nice and relaxing first one. We're going to be looking for one or the other of the time refs. Um, not entirely sure where they spawn. I haven't looked this up, but it's been a short enough part. I'm, I figure we can probably find at least one of them. Uh, like, I think there's one on one of the waterways, so I'm going to be heading there first to take a look. Oh. And we get to see Mustache Girl again, even though we are worst enemies with her right now. Fortunately, okay, so we can see the, the uh, ones we actually make are completed. So we'll keep that in mind. Dress blue is the best you. Nice little propagandas, which I guess is kind of the term for them, even though I'm not really propagandaing anything. But we can take a look up this waterway, because I 
thought it would be a timepiece hidden somewhere in the water. Uh, apparently, if you swim too long, you will drown. Um, didn't know that. Uh, left bumper to swap hats. Or going to the brewing hat. And nothing's in there. Alright. So it wasn't down here. Alright, so let's go check the other one, since I'm sure there is another one for us to check. Uh, if we had the cannon to get straight to the other side of the island, it might be a bit faster, but... Ooh, and on the pier, we actually get a cow. Interesting. But I will keep that in mind in future reference. Oh! And there's the green vault. Um, I, I feel kind of awkward now, because we checked the other two doors, but not this one. We checked the other door a lot, but not this door. I guess there's four doors that I, I didn't, because yeah, one at zero to six, so there are six of these that we have to track down. First one, right in the front. Oh, a chew. Sorry, that threw me off. But I'm excited we can finally get the green vault. Even if we get nothing else, I'm, I'm glad. And it's right next to the Mafia Sabotage. I'm a bit salty now, because I, I think we got the, the tickets from right in this area. But there are six of them. So that is something we are going to have to figure out. Alright. Do we have any more green lines that can help us? I don't think we'll have any that are going to be nearby, unfortunately. Come on. Up we go. Three to six. One is going straight down, so I guess, yeah, right down here. Oh. I don't, however, think they're going to give us enough um, of a length of green time to see some of the other ones. So, we knew there was one up in this general area, so let's head up and see if we can find any. Like, right here, right in front of this guy. That's five. And there's only one left. And we knew it was the opposite way. So let us check down this way. And there, number six. We're back to full health. We've got the green Mafia Vault completed. And what does it get us? Number six. Oh. All that for a Rift token. Uh, yay. That totally was not worth it. 100% uh, not worth it. But I mean, I like the closure we just got. I'm probably going to cut out the um, searching for it that we did um, last part, right before the Mafia boss, and just include this part here where we actually got that, because we had to get all six anyways. So, let me check. Yeah, that, that's going to be it for this part. Um, back to hub, save and return to hub, yes. Alright, that was with our exploring. We got a few more yarn and we actually finished the green vault. And that's where we're going to call it for this episode. And we will jump into the new area. Officially. Yeah, that one right there with the uh, nice pink um, energy ball circling it next time. See you guys then.